My name is Mishma Chaman and I'm going to give a presentation on my book which is about life of mammals. Chapter 1. Chapter 1 includes introduction to mammals diversity, definition of mammals, mammal class mammalia, any member of the group of vertebrate animals in which the young are nourished with milk from special mammary glands of the mother. In addition to these characteristic milk glands, mammals are distinguished by several other unique features. The word mammal is modern from the scientific name mammalia coined by Carl Linnaeus in 1758, derived from the Latin mamma. Mammal Evolution The earliest mammals were primarily small, shrew-like, nocturnal insectivores. However, a recently discovered fossil from 130 million years ago is of a larger mammal that ate small dinosaurs. Mammals were derived in the Triassic period, about 252 million to 201 million years ago, from members of the reptilian order Therapsida. Therapsids member of the subclass Cynapsida, sometimes called the mammal-like reptiles, generally were unimpressive in relation to other reptiles of their time. Synapsids were present in the Carboniferous period, about 359 million to 299 million years ago, and are one of the earliest known reptilian groups. They were the dominant reptiles of Permian period. Natural History The hallmarks of the mammalian level of organization are advanced reproduction and parental care, behavioral, flexibility, and endothermy. The physiological maintenance of a relatively constant body temperature independent of the environment allowing a high level of activity. Within the class, ecological diversity has resulted from adaptive specialization in food acquisition, habitat preference, and locomotion. Throughout the past 66 million years, mammals have been dominant animals in terrestrial ecosystems and important in non-terrestrial communities as well. The earliest mammals were small, active, predaceous and terrestrial or semi-arboreal. Below is the picture of beetle-nosed dolphin. General Features Diversity The evolution of the class mammalia has produced tremendous diversity in form and habit. Living kinds range in size from a bat weighing less than a gram and tiny shrews weighing but a few grams to the largest animal that has ever lived, the blue whale, which reaches a length of more than 30 meters or 100 feet and a weight of 180 metric tons, nearly 200 short US tons. Every major habitat has been exploited by mammals that swim, fly, run, burrow, glide or climb. Below is the picture of different mammals showing their different habitats. Chapter 2 includes form and function, skin and hair. The skin of mammals is constructed of two layers, the superficial non-vascular epidermis and the inner layer, the dermis or corium. The two layers interlock via finger-like projections, dermal papillae. Consisting of sensitive vascular dermis projecting into the epidermis, the outermost layers of the epidermis are conified, and their cells are uniclate. The epidermis is composed of flattened cells in layers and the interface between the individual and the environment. Each and every mammal has its own kind of fur and hair. This slide shows the skeleton of a dog and of a human. With changes in locomotion, the proportions and specific functions of muscular elements have been altered, but the relationships of these muscles remain essentially the same. Exceptions to this generalization are the muscles of the skin and of the jaw. Digestive system The elementary canal is highly specialized in many kinds of mammals. In general, specializations of the gut accompany herbivores habits. The intestines of herbivores are typically elongate and the stomach may also be specialized. Here is a picture of the digestive system of a human and the digestive system of a rabbit. Chapter 3 includes behavior. Social behavior. The dependence of the young mammal on its mother for nourishment has made possible a period of training. Such training permits the non-genetic transfer of information between generations. The ability of young mammals to learn from the experience of their elders has allowed a behavioral plasticity unknown in any other group of organisms and has been a primary reason of the evolutionary success of mammals. Here is a picture of a female leopard. Mammals conservation. 
mammals are embedded worldwide. Threats to terrestrial species are primarily from habitat loss or modification, and in some instances, from commercial, illegal or unregulated hunting. Terrestrial species are negatively affected throughout the tropics from reforestation. Lately, WWF is working for the conservation of pandas. Importance to humans Wild and domesticated mammals are so interlocked with other political and social history that it is impractical to attempt to assess the relationship in precise economic terms. Throughout our own evolution, for example, humans have depended on other mammals for food and clothing. Domestication of mammals helped to provide a source of protein for ever-increasing human and provided means of transportation and heavy work as well. Here's a picture of herding goats along the ancient Silk Road, northern Taklamakan Desert in China. The IUCN classifies each imperiled mammal into one of the following categories. Near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, critically endangered and possibly extinct or extinct in the wild. The stellar sea cow Hydrodemelis gigas extinct since the 18th century fed on kept growing near the shore.